The city of Sacramento is constantly implementing new mandates and working with CDC recommendations to keep the community safe. Mayor Daryl Steinberg joins us now. There he is to give us an update on what's changing in Sacramento and how we can all do our part to keep our community safe while still navigating what many are calling our new normal. Welcome, Mayor Steinberg. Aubrey, good to be with you as always. Happy Tuesday to you. It's another week, more COVID talk. Are we still seeing a spike in the number of COVID-19 cases right here in Sacramento? Well, in Sacramento County, um, the rate of infection, uh, hospitalizations, ICU placements have in fact leveled off over the last week or two compared to uh, the, the peak just uh, a week or so ago. But we're not, I would not say that we have turned a corner or that we are anywhere out of the woods. The rates of infection are still too high. There's still too many people uh, that are getting really sick and, and, and tragically dying. And, and so, uh, you know, unfortunately, until there is a national leveling off, until there is a better medicine, until, until there is some kind of a vaccine, I'm afraid we're going to have to continue to adjust, as you describe it, to this new normal and do the very, very best we can to live our lives, but also keep uh, ourselves and, and our loved ones and each other safe. Well, one of the new recommendations coming out um, is that the CDC is saying wearing eye protection as well as the mask will help control the risk of infection. Do you suggest that this is something we all start doing? Well, I, I, I think it's a good idea. Look at, I was out there early saying that wearing masks should be mandatory. Um, and of course it is now, and it took a while, I think, for, all, for us all to, to recognize the common sense idea that if you cover up your nose and you cover up your mouth, you're less likely to transmit uh, the virus and you may be less likely to actually get it um, even if you're close to somebody who has it. Well, why, why not the same thing with eye protection? Certainly, you know, we have to live for our lives and, um, and, and eye protection needs to allow us to see and to be able to uh, uh, do our work and to go about our lives. But uh, I'm gonna look at that CDC recommendation very carefully. My, idea, my, my view though is the more protection we take, uh, the better off we will be. And so you, you, you can't go too far here in terms of uh, your own health and safety and those you love. Okay, very good. Now, Sacramento recently announced that large gatherings in city parks are not allowed. Have people been following the orders? Well, I think by and large people have been following the orders, but we still get too many stories of people uh, who are not. The bigger problem, however, there are people who are gathering in their homes where, of course, it is difficult or impossible really not only to enforce, but even to admonish a group of people who, who are out there uh, putting themselves at that kind of risk. And of course, what we're also seeing, and I think this really needs to be said, Aubrey, is that our Latino population is being disproportionately impacted by COVID-19. And a lot of that is uh, the fact that uh, working people, especially lower income working people are in work settings where the right kinds of precautions are not taken. And so um, this is a very, very serious problem. And I wanna make sure that our city is doing everything we can to help all our communities, but especially the communities that are hardest hit. And council member Eric Gerda and I are working carefully with, uh, very closely with the Latino community, the leadership community, to try to address this very scary spike. It isn't good, it isn't right. Well, you talk about the city doing things. One of the things that the city has launched is a show the love mask campaign. Can you tell me more about that campaign? <laughs> well, um, it, it is just, uh, we're using every means at our disposal to try and convince people that having this little mask can save lives. And so, you know, we're using social media. Um, we're, we're asking people to wear their mask, cup their hands together in the shape of a heart, take a picture and put it out on social media. I know I did it. It took me a while to get the heart shape correct with the cupping of my hands, but I eventually did it. And we put it out on social media. And, and it's just another way to 
uh, show some solidarity and educate people that it's the basics, Aubrey, it's the basics that are going to allow us to get through this eventually. You know, Mayor, I feel like folks around here are following the rules. From what I see, from my experience, I'm seeing a lot of people wearing masks. Yes. We know that Governor Newsom um, put his foot down with a couple cities where they weren't really following the rules. Sacramento was not affected because, large part, we are following the rules. What do you think about him doing that? Do you think that's the message that needs to be sent so that everyone gets on board? I have said this for, you know, for weeks, and I know we've talked a little bit about this, that where people are flagrantly violating the health and safety rules that are intended and, in fact, uh, do keep people safe when they are followed, I am for enforcement. Uh, especially if it makes an example, a public example, in a way that says to others, wow, I better take this more seriously than I'm taking it. It's true. Most people are complying. I think people are getting it. It's still spreading. And so that is the message to all of us, that we cannot let our guards down in any way. All right. And when we talk about, you know, fall is on the way, distance learning continues to be the focus of going back to school. I know um, Elk Grove, some students went back to distance learning. School started for them yesterday. Um, how are families feeling now as we're counting down here in Sacramento to the start of the school year? I think it's one of the hardest parts of this pandemic, the fact that um, kids cannot go to school. And really, um, if there was ever a reason if there was ever a reason to try and get uh, everyone to take the coronavirus even more seriously, it ought to be around the goal to open up schools and to get people back, get kids back to school. Because parents are anxious, it's hard to both work uh, and to uh, teach your kids from home or to participate in teaching your kids at home. And um, this is uh, one of the most poignant and difficult parts of this. We've got to get kids back to school, but not until it's safe. I hear you, Mayor. Well, I'm a parent and I'm anxious too, but we always look forward to having you on the show and getting your updates, and we appreciate your time. Visit cityofsacramento.org for more information on these updates and more.